Hello there, welcome back to Blue Harvest Vintage Toys and our ongoing, not so regular, look at every Star Wars action figure on the Vintage line. And in this episode, it is the turn of that lovable droid, C-3PO. And as you can see, C-3PO has a subtle gold metallic tone and is assembled differently from the other figures as C-3PO has a metal fastener visible on his back. Such a mechanical look, impermissible with the other figures, seems perfectly proper here. That metal look was achieved by vac metalising, a process which seems to be outlawed in modern times, especially from Hasbro. They will not give you vac metalised figures, and that is probably one reason why you're not getting 3PO or R2 on the retro collection. Some other companies still do this, including Funko, and I don't believe it gives you a greater finish on the figures. And until they find a better way of doing the modern figures, that's what we're stuck with. But what better reason to stick to vintage? C-3PO didn't come in the early bird kit like his counterpart, Ato d 2 So as much sought after on the card. And still is to this day one of the easiest 12 backs to find. I do remember not picking up this version of 3PO. I got the later version. But do remember having the 12 inch model. And as with most of the first wave of figures, it is pretty basic. It's just all gold all over. There's none of the black midriff with all the wires showing the red wires. And indeed, the bottom part of his right leg is gold and not silver. But is that something we really noticed back then? It's much like the A-Team van. You always thought it was black all over, but looking back now, it was grey on top and black at the bottom. And watching Star Wars in 4K now, you see all the dirt and the grime on 3PO and R2. But with the greater picture and the ability to pause on these characters now, you can scrutinise every little detail. So this version of C-3PO came on this Star Wars 12-back. A Star Wars 12-back with a Takara head and torso sculpt. The Star Wars 20-back. And the Empire Strikes Back card. Now a new C-3PO with removable limbs was released from the for the Empire Strikes Back. Although the original version was available on Empire packaging as well, but some of the newer versions were accidentally packaged on the older version's card. So watch for the telltale small bag packed behind the figure. C-3PO was also packed in the special action figure set, the three-pack. The Android set, not the droid set. There's uh, two specific three-packs. There's the Android set, which has 3PO, R2 and Chewbacca, funnily enough. Uh, these were not available in all regions of the United States and were department store exclusives. So there you go, that is the look at the vintage C-3PO. I have not mentioned the uh, Empire Strikes Back version because I'll be going on to that, I would say, very soon, but the <laughs> way it's going, it's not going to be. Uh, the next figure that I will review is either going to be Han Solo or, or the Stormtrooper. So I'll leave that up to you. Leave a note in the comments which figure you would like me to do. I'm thinking the Stormtrooper will be a very short one like this or, and the Han Solo may be a bit longer according to the variants. So please let me know. If you enjoy these looks at vintage Star Wars figures, please subscribe and press that bell icon to know when they do get released. So please click on the circle link to subscribe and the square box to find out about all the other figure reviews I've already done. Thank you for watching, and may the toys be with you. C-3PO and Vader only share one scene. We know from the prequels that Anakin Skywalker is C-3PO's creator, so it's slightly surprising to realise that Anakin and C-3PO only share a single scene in the original trilogy. That scene comes near the end of Empire Strikes Back, when Han is frozen in carbonite. The two don't exchange any dialogue, and C-3PO wouldn't have known who Vader was anyway. But Vader certainly could have recognised his creation. Of course, part of the point of Vader's character is that he's repressed any element of his former self. He's transformed himself into a menacing new monster, part man, part machine. And it's just like Obi-Wan said, he's no longer Anakin Skywalker. C-3PO is a remnant of that life, something he probably never expected to see again. Still, Vader had focused on the task at hand and on luring his son over to the dark side. Of course, it was ultimately Vader who would be reminded of who he used to be to save his son in the process. <laughs>